Manis no llegan que aquí What's up, what's up? It's your girl Simone Charisse. I am so in a good mood and I was so happy with the turnout of this hairstyle. So in this video, I'm going to be in great spirits as I'm talking to you guys on my voiceover. So today in this video, we are working with OMG Her Hair. <laughs> Okay, this was a lace frontal wig and I went ahead and I dyed it and put my own spin on it. So to dye it, I'm going to go ahead and use Quick Blue L'Oreal, well L'Oreal Quick Blue. And I'm using this over BW2 powder because this helps to strip the hair faster. It's more stronger than BW2 powder. BW2 powder takes so long. So when I did this, it kind of lightens it way quicker. So if you really want that blonde hair besides this tutorial, like outside of this tutorial, this is the bleach for you because it helps get the job done a little bit more faster. So I didn't really measure anything. I kind of just went based off of like my judgment and everything. So So to begin the bleaching process, I just went ahead and just slapped it on the hair. I was about an inch away from the roots. I wanted the roots to still be black, okay? I wanted it to look very natural, very, just like a nice gradient flow. I didn't want a harsh line. Make sure when you are dyeing your hair, as you can see towards the roots, there is a harsher line right there. Yes, use your brush sideways and kind of just go in and get that harsh line out of there. So I was on live this day. I don't know if you guys remember this video. This was a long time ago, about a month ago. I was on live with you guys showing you how I dye my hair, bleach the knots, and all kinds of stuff. But I did make a mistake a little bit because I forgot to bleach my knots. So I had to go in and bleach it while the hair was wet. And I hate doing that because what happens is when you do it while it's wet, the bleach will leak onto the knots. And oh my God, it can create a huge mess. So if you are watching this video, do not do this. Bleach the knots when it's dry. I kind of hurried up because I was doing this on live with you guys. Well, I kind of stuck this one in there. That wasn't really part of the live. Next, I went ahead and washed it out with shampoo. So this shampoo is great for hair coloring um, and for bleaching and everything. It's not harsh on your hair, but it's specifically used for like if you have color in your hair and you don't want to strip the color. Um, yeah. So let's go ahead and go into the Gotta Be Glue um, hair dye. So I never knew that they even had dye. I thought Gotta Be Glue just had... <laughs> I thought they just had like gels and everything. I mostly see it in the men's section, but this was a really, really, really good product. Like, oh my God, like, the dye is very, at first when I was putting on the hair, it was really white. And I was like, oh my God, this is not gonna work. This is not gonna work. Now, if you bought dyeing products before, you know they cost so much money, all right? I mean, $7 to me is a lot, okay? Especially for a product that you think is gonna work and it doesn't work. So when these actually worked really well, I was like, ah! I was so happy. I was like, oh my goodness. So I love the product. Super, 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 super in love with it. Um, definitely perfect. You will have to lighten your hair. You will have to bleach your hair. So if you are using this for real hair, you will have to lighten and bleach your, ha bleach your hair. Just letting you know. But I kept it on there for about two hours. And just because I was just like doing things and I wanted it to really stick. Remember, it took a while for it to actually show its color. So now you see that it's actually kind of purple and everything. Then I also, guys, I did use two boxes. I had two boxes of this, and that was enough. If you have longer hair, you are going to need probably three or four boxes because it's a lot, okay? A lot of hair, and this dye is thick, okay? So um, this was two boxes for short hair. And here I am with my shampoo from Ion for hair color. Usually I don't shampoo my hair after I dye it, but I wanted to test out to see how, like, you know, well it was <laughs> and it was really well so this is how it looks afterwards it's so pretty guys this plum color is gorgeous like i was turning heads okay in the street of Atlanta. Atlanta. <laughs> all right here i am with gotta be glued again and i'm just gonna go ahead and just cut off the lace now this part i kind of skipped through because this video is not me showing you how i put my lace on it's kind of me showing you my coloring so i kind of just went ahead and skipped through it 
Also, this hair was from OMG Her Hair, okay? This is like my fifth, sixth, seventh video with them. I worked with them so many times. This hair was amazing, nice, silky, took the color amazingly. And it was so like like soft <laughs> so soft especially after dyeing it you know so really love the hair from omg hair here so this is my end result i think it was kind of cute i used some mousse and i just scrunched my hair up with um a little bit of water because i didn't want my hair to be like you know that crunchy munchy macaroni look i wanted it to be very hey i wanted it to be very like just nice loose looking waves the waves did drop throughout the day boohoo but you know what i love the hair amazing the color came out amazing got it the glue you did your damn thing with these dyes because i love the dye so they have this blue color i really want to try it hopefully i will and i'll let you guys know how that works as well but thanks for watching this video y'all i'll see y'all in my next one bye guys